Hey guys, Travis of Fly Fish and Texan here. So today we're at Old Settlers Park. We're gonna get on this little lake here, do a little kayak fly fishing, and see what we can do. All right, <laughs> it's a little bit windy out here today, so I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna try. The, let me see if I can get up there. I'm gonna try the jig on the fly rod, but if it doesn't work. Whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. I <laughs> just drug the kayak all the way down here. Not that it was all the way, but a little bit. If that didn't work, I'm going to try some of these lunch monies that were made by my buddy Gordon. Shout out to him. He makes the uh, Gordon's Hollywood. Anyway, I'll try one of these lunch monies if, uh, if I feel like it's, you know, kind of windy, need some moving bait, you know, type action. We'll see. See what we can do. All right, guys, well, we're on the water. Start fishing. Guys, so we're going to try... There's a little point that kind of comes out right here. So we're gonna go ahead and try that, throw a little jig on it. I'm anchoring right now. Uh, hopefully the, the wind's not too crazy. I'm trying to turn to where it won't get you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna keep throwing the jig on the uh, seven, seven weight line, <laughs> five weight rod there since I broke my, my rod again. Um, anyway, let's see if this hole does any better. I really didn't do very well at that side of the lake. So come on this side of the lake, see if we can't do something a little better. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to learn one day not to turn on the GoPro. Just let it go, bring the fish in. I just lost a nice little bass uh, just right out here. So I'm going to GoPro or not, I'm going to get the fish in. promise you guys, I'm going to get the fish in, at least get it on video, whether you guys see the fight or not. All right, I'm learning my lesson here. Just to let you know, this is why I, I wait to turn it on because this thing drains battery like no one's business and that's that's why i'm always waiting to turn it on so uh i was just thinking about that you guys are probably like well why don't you just leave it on well if i leave it on it's going to drain battery like crazy so anyway i will make a better effort not to worry about it and get fish in the boat <laughs> all right i'm going to go ahead and tie on gordon's uh lunch money here this is a matt bennett original but gordon uh also ties these i think it looks pretty good it looks pretty close to the original so we're going to give this a try. Had a few hits on the jig, but ain't had too much happening. So we're going to try this little guy. Finally got this little guy. I got him on a drop shot. Did not get him on the fly rod, but uh, he was way out there deep. So that must be where they are. I've been trying to fish, you know, all these flats and stuff. So I kind of hooked him good. So let's get him back in the water. There we go. There he goes. He's fine. So after catching that little bass on the drop shot, I decided to change my position a little bit and try some more with the fly rod. So I ended up having no luck at this spot and decided to go ahead and change it up. So I was super glad I moved and changed up my bait also to a popper because I pulled in this nice little bass. It was a solid hit. Really nice. All right, that was super awesome. I actually thought that was a sunfish or something, just the way he kind of took it. But I mean, he slammed it. But then I was like, oh, this thing ain't fighting all that hard. Nice little pound bass. Um, I hope I got him on the on the GoPro there. But shoot, I'm gonna cast up against these reeds and let's see if we can't get another one. So there are many techniques out there for you know fishing a popper, but the style I like to do is to do short. Uh, steady pulls not crazy aggressive and just pause about maybe every three to four pulls for about one to two seconds and you'll be surprised how often you get hit during that pause and let them let them hit it take it for just a whole second and go ahead and set the hook at that time that's a quick tip and technique the way that I like to fish it
huge snake out here. Looks like he's kind of coming my way. I can't. Let's see if I can't find him. He's going down and then coming back up. But shoot, sucker's huge. Scared the crud out of me. I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. Just came back up. Huge snake. So when you're fly fishing with a jig or any kind of weighted fly that's going to go down to the bottom and uh, kind of rest with the hook up with the weight, you know, sitting on the bottom, um, whether it's crawfish or whatever, uh, there's plenty of them out there, plenty of that kind of style. You need to work it fairly slow depending on the time of the year. And when you do feel a hit, you have to be patient let that fish really take it for one, two, maybe even three seconds uh, to make sure they really got it and then go ahead and pull straight up on your rod and set that hook. And you'll see yourself being a lot more effective with the jig. Uh, sometimes uh, I get a little excited and I'll just, uh, you know, try to strip the line, you know, strip set it and it doesn't seem to be as effective. Um, I'll get too excited, I'll feel the hit and uh, you know pull right away or try to set the hook right away and I'll lose them quite a bit so the really the best way to do it is really be patient uh, let the fish bite it you know hit it really really take it for a couple seconds and then go ahead and raise up set that hook and fight that fish in you'll see yourself being a lot more effective with it Alright, so my GoPro had died, but just got this little guy out from over there on the jig. Nice. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired. Been out of here for like four or five hours now. Uh, bite's kind of slowing down, it's seeming like. Um, you'd think it'd be picking up right now, but just on a little top water. Uh, went to a jig, caught a few, now went back top water. Um, so we'll just, uh, just keep going, see what we can do. So when I was heading out, there was a guy named Gabe who had gut fished um, bass with a Cinco on a spin reel, and he had uh, actually recognized me earlier, so when I saw he was having some problems, I went ahead and went over, tried to help him out a little bit, 
worked on it for a little while, didn't really have success, so we had to go ahead and uh, get the hook out as best I could. And there were some guys on the bank who were wanting to take it to take home anyway. So kind of worked out. We didn't have to waste the fish. Hey guys, well, we're heading out. Hey, it was a really cool time. Caught some bass, uh, a few sunfish in there. So always a good time out here at Old Settlers Park. Uh, hey, shout out to Gabe. That kid was awesome. Uh, as you saw, I uh, you know helped him try to get that fish uh, unhooked. Uh, sadly enough, it was gut hooked too bad. We couldn't couldn't save it. So ended up giving it to some guys on the bank who were going to be using it and uh, you know making use of it, and eating it anyway. So. That was all good. All right, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. God bless and go fly fishing. You won't regret it. So much fun.